Okay, now we look at um, section 12.1.7, potential difference. Right, uh, we have seen and how we can assign electric potential to different points in a circuit and can also determine what is the difference in potential between two points and we call that potential difference uh, or we can use a short form PD between two points. We have a formal definition for potential difference and that is potential difference across a circuit component for example a lamp is the work done work done to drive a unit charge through the component okay so a unit charge uh, actually means one coulomb of charge c is the unit for a charge okay, one coulomb so a common symbol for potential difference we can use V or short form PD right and the unit the SI unit for this will be the volt okay and uh, the symbol we use for volt will be a capital V for example we can say that the potential difference right between two points in the circuit is 3.0 volt and we measure potential difference using a uh, the instrument called a voltmeter. Where we draw like, a circle and uh, put a capital V in it. Okay, in XI7, the voltmeter is connected across the battery. Right, and what is the voltmeter reading? Okay, this battery has a voltage of three volts. Okay, so we can say that the negative potential, uh, the positive terminal has a potential of 3 volts and the negative terminal has a potential of 0 volts. So essentially, it means that the voltmeter is measuring a potential difference between the two, okay, uh, between the two terminals of this battery as 3 minus 0 or 3 volts the voltmeter reading is also the potential difference across the battery now we have another voltmeter is connected across the light bulb right so here now as in the previous case right we have the electric potential 3 volts here that means uh, this point here on the left side of the lamp must also be 3 volts okay similarly the right terminal of or the negative terminal of this battery is zero volts and the same copper wire is connecting it so the right end of this uh, lamp also has electric potential of zero volts so this voltmeter measures the potential difference across the lamp okay this is equal to the potential difference across the lamp which is equal to 3 minus 0 volts. So the reading on the voltmeter must be also 3 volts. We can show this easily uh, if we use the circuit, electric circuit simulation uh, that I have shown you earlier. <coughs> okay, so uh, just now we talked about uh, this potential difference. We define it as the work done to drive the unit charge through the component okay so basically the battery is the one that is doing the work right and the battery will have this potential difference to drive the current through the light bulb and the work done by this battery or the electrical energy used is to move the charge through the light bulb and this work done will be converted into light and heat energy in the light bulb so the light bulb will light up and it also becomes hot after some time. Uh, in upper sec physics, right, uh, we actually have a special term for this potential difference across a battery. We call it electromotive force or EMF for short. Okay, but uh, this year, this is not in our syllabus, so don't worry about it. Okay, right now we look at another circuit. Uh, we have a battery right and the PD 
The potential difference or PD across each lamp is shown. First lamp has a PD of 2.0 volts. Second lamp, PD of 5.0 volts. Okay, step uh, st uh, part one, you are asked to draw a voltmeter, right? To show how it can be connected to measure the voltage of the battery. <coughs> In other words, the potential difference across the battery. So uh, you will use a ruler and pencil, okay? To draw straight lines. And a, poten a voltmeter has to be connected across the component. In this case, the battery. So use ruler and pencil. And we draw a nice circle here. And label it V. This is a voltmeter to measure the voltage of the battery. Uh, part B, draw another voltmeter. Okay, This time to measure the PD across the the PD that is across the 5 volt light bulb. So similarly, right, you can draw the voltmeter above or below it. Okay, suppose I draw the voltmeter below. So use ruler and pencil, draw straight lines, and then draw a circle before you complete it with V. That's a voltmeter. Now you're asked to determine the voltage across the battery, right? Uh, okay, if we were to use the idea of electric potential, the negative terminal of the battery, we can always assign it as 0 volts, right? So in other words, this terminal here, connected by the same copper, must be 0 volts. And because the potential difference across this lamp, 5 volt lamp, is 5 volts so the other terminal on the left side of the lamp must be 5 volts so that the PD across this lamp is 5 volts and we move on to the lamp on the left it's 2 volts potential difference so if this is 5 terminal and the other one was the a higher potential of 5 plus 2 is 7 volts so that the lamp will have a potential difference of 2 volts. Hence, this leads us back to the terminal of the battery. Okay, This terminal must be at 7 volts. Okay, now we can easily see that uh, when we determine or calculate the voltage across the battery is actually the sum of the two potential difference of the two lamps which are in series. Okay, and hence, the voltage across our battery is actually 2 plus 5 is 7 uh, volts. Okay, as shown by our analysis in, in the circuit as well. The positive terminal is at 7 volts, the negative terminal is 0 volts. So the potential difference across the battery is 7 volts. The precision of the measurement of a voltmeter could be, uh, for this voltmeter, the readings are 2.0 and 7.0. So the precision could be 0 0.1 volt, so that the readings are all to one decimal place. Okay, so could be, uh, let me see this possibility. Uh, any inaccuracy of the voltmeter reading due to parallax color, we can avoid this in the same way as for the ammeter that we discussed earlier, right? So we can use by using the strip of mirror, the strip of mirror, in the voltmeter. To ensure that to ensure that the um the reflection of the pointer uh, uh coincides right coincides or aligns coincides with the pointer. 
so I mean accuracy to prevent parallax error right? in order to prevent parallax error we can use a strip of mirror in the voltmeter by ensuring that the reflection of the pointer coincides with the pointer itself right? and then we have one exercise here state the precision of the voltmeter shown okay so precision is always equal to the for ammeter and voltmeter is equal to half the smallest division in our instrument okay so in this particular instrument you look very carefully eh? the smallest division here is uh, there are 10 divisions from 0 to 1 in other words the smallest division here is just 0 0.1 volt so half of that will be 0 0.05 volt okay which means all our readings using this voltmeter must record to two decimal place for this particular voltmeter so precision will be 0 0.05 volt all right and the reading here they read very carefully uh, 2.1234 until here is about 2.8 okay and about half of it so we can record this as 2.85 volts the reading on this voltmeter here